Hi friends, happy Tuesday. I wanna pick up on Rachel's meditation on expertise, which is also a topic I've been thinking about a lot lately. Not so much about what I'm an expert in or what it takes to be an expert, but more the way our society treats experts. The claim that you often hear lately that we have a kind of like crisis of trust in experts. The current concern is that we don't, we don't trust experts and that that's why we kind of have people refusing to vaccinate, why we're not doing anything about climate change and, and those kinds of things. So, you know, I wanna know, should we trust the experts and why or why not? And if we should trust them, why does it seem like so many people don't? And what can we do about it? Here's one place to start thinking about that question, which is um, the movie Don't Look Up. Right? Adam McKay's disaster film slash dark comedy about a comet that's going to crash into the earth. Right? Um, one of the things that sort of struck me about the discourse around this film over the last month or so was um, how polarized the responses were. Right? People seem to have either loved the movie or hated the movie. No in between. It seems like some people watched a pretty different movie than I did. Um, which is weird. You know, they saw the movie as projecting a kind of cartoon version of this crisis of trust in experts with an ignorant public and a kind of like uh, idiotic right-wing demagogues versus the kind of Cassandra-like experts, a kind of liberal elitist punching down narrative. Now, I, I didn't see it that way. Sure, there were some ignoramuses in the movie, but a, a lot of the conflict actually takes place between different experts and elites in the film, right? It's, it's the tech company CEO with the backing of Nobel laureate scientists from top name institutions that kind of undermines the original plan to divert the comet and proposes a riskier one, right? It's, it's other scientific experts who oppose those people, right? So, and it's Dr. Mindy kind of caught in the middle, uh, becoming compromised by proximity to power and fame, right? So if anything, I think it's the entanglement of expertise with kind of short-sighted political and economic agendas that leads to disaster rather than a general failure of trust in experts. In fact, it's kind of striking how quickly the public in the film uh, is represented as turning on the um, elites who misled them, right? As soon as the comet is actually visible. So what does this tell us about whether we should trust experts? Um, uh, well, I, I think it helps us think about why it's such a complex question, right? So, I mean, think about the term medical experts. What does that cover, medical expert? It covers the epidemiologists, right? In public institutions whose whole career uh, focuses on protecting public health. It also covers um, the representatives um, uh, working at pharmaceutical companies whose whole focus is the company's bottom line. It includes careful laboratory scientists. It includes the scientists who um, work for contract research organizations that cut corners and compromise clinical trials. It includes scientists speaking publicly on topics where they have huge conflicts of interest. It includes your family doctor who might be very conscientious. It includes the guy who tried to put me on ivermectin when I got COVID. It includes the emergency room doctor at a public county hospital and the specialist in private practice who won't take Medicare. Should we trust these medical experts in general? Well, it's complicated, right? And it depends to some extent on what their motivations are and, and what we're trusting them for to give us general information, to make specific judgments about something very new, to tell us what to do. You know, I mean, personally, right? I've gotten vaccinated and boosted and I've followed the public health recommendations pretty carefully, I think. And I think I could give a pretty compelling explanation for why in this particular case, I trusted the right experts concerning what to do um, and I had good reasons to do so. But should we expect the public to work all that out? I'm, I'm not sure we should. And I'm not sure the general claim that we should trust the experts is gonna make us any better off than we are now, right? So I'm not, I'm not sure sort of uh, the general argument that we should trust experts is gonna help. 
Now, I don't want to spoil the ending, but if you've seen the movie, you know Dark Don't Look Up doesn't end in a very hopeful place. I still think it provides a kind of model for people doing their best with the expertise they have. Um, you know, at the end of the day, despite having power and the public against them in some, to, to some point. Um, and failing that, right, taking comfort in the bonds of friendship, family, and community. So there's something kind of sweet about the way the movie ends, um, besides the gag ending. Um, can we do better than that? I'm not sure, but that's what I'm trying to think about. Stay safe, friends. See you later this week.